All right, I'm gonna start my watch. Perfect. Okay, so just simple warm up. Um, let's do a little bit of running on the spot today. So you kind of just get warmed up. Nothing super crazy yet. Just lift those feet up off the ground like we're running in spot. Um, today, it's gonna be similar to Wednesdays. We're gonna do three exercises, kind of slow, slower pace, right? More strength based. So concentrating on our movements, um, trying to build a little bit of strength. So heavier is better if you have heavier. If it's light, that's okay too. <clears throat> and then later on, we're gonna go back to that upper body workout. <clears throat> uh, I think it's four minutes straight, all upper body work. So last week we, or sorry, Wednesday last workout, <clears throat> We did lots of shoulders back today, all arms. And then we're gonna throw one little ab exercise, cardio exercise in there as well. To end you off, we're gonna go through that at least twice, depending how long the first one takes, maybe thrice. Good. Keep running. All right, let's lift those legs a little higher now. Good. All right, let's warm the upper body up. Sit on the uh, back of our mat. Do some walkouts, so bend on our hip. Put those hands on the ground. Walk yourself up four times. Walk yourself back four times. Okay. Two for me. All right, getting four. One more. Perfect. All right. We're going to stand up on our mat, behind our mat, whatever. Pull that right leg in. Hug it nice and close to your body. Switch. Let's go left leg. Good. Nice Friday. Switch, let's go back to that right leg. Good. Left leg one more time. Stretch those hip flexors. I know this is an area where I for sure need a bunch of work. Good. Okay, let's pull up our right foot. Knees together, pull that foot to your butt as close as you can. Balance. Again, if you need something to balance on all of these stretches that we're doing, find a wall, pillar in your basement, a couch, whatever's close to you. Okay, switch. Remember, important to keep those knees together here. Going to go right foot up in front, bend down in our hip, scoop the air. Then there's water there, spill out your hands with some water. Stretch out our hamstring here. Good. One more. 
Perfect. Mat. All right, let's sign at the back of our mat. Big step with our left foot, left hand on the ground, right arm goes up. Big stretch. We're gonna be doing something similar to this later in the workout. Actually, right away. So let's get a good stretch here. Big step with our right foot. Right hand down. Big twist up. Good. All right. Let's grab a little quick drink of some water. I'll explain what we're doing. All right. First one you can do weighted, not weighted. It's gonna be up to you, uh, whatever you think you need. Okay, we're gonna do some side lunges, all right? So if you have a weight and you wanna use one, just grab it, hold it in front of your chest like this. If you have two smaller weights, but you want something heavier, because you don't have anything heavier to use, just use two, you can hold them here both at your chest or down at your side. Okay, so you're gonna take one big step left, push our butt backwards. All right, so if I'm going this way, right, it's here and that butt goes back. All right, so we don't want this when we do that lunge. Okay, stresses out our knee joint, too much on our toes. We want that weight on kind of midfoot to heel. So we can go, okay, so we're gonna go one to the right, and then we're gonna come back, go to the left. Okay, we're doing 12, six each side, okay? Next exercise, it's called a windmill, okay? So you have one weight, probably smaller for now. The next time we come through it, if you feel like you can go a little bit heavier, great, grab something a little bit heavier, okay? Weight's in our right hand, left arm out here, as we bend over at our hip, I'll stay this way for now, bend over at our hip, this weight comes up over top of our head, we're gonna to touch our toe, so left hand to left toe, okay? And then while we're bending, we're pushing up, this weight goes straight up above our head, okay? Come back down to here, we're doing six each side, Okay, so stay on this right side for six. Then you're gonna switch the weight. Okay, out here, feet about shoulder width, hip width apart, okay? Bend, press, come back down. Okay, both sides. Next one, we're gonna call, kind of alternating leg lowering to arm lowering dead bug, I've seen this called before. Okay, so you're just gonna lay on your back, feet up here, arms up here as well, all right? Core needs to be tight. We're gonna lower the left leg and right arm, okay? So it's here, back up. Okay, right leg, left arm, there, okay? So six each side, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Okay, 12 total, and then we're gonna start back up at the top. Okay, hopefully that's clear as mud. So we're gonna start on side lunge. Okay, grab weight if you need it, grab a little quick drink. All right, 12 lunges, six aside. Ready, go ahead. All right, going 12 total. Stick that butt backwards, all right? Weight on that heel of our foot that we're stepping out with. All right, so we're not leaning too much forward. All right, stretch those hip joints. Adductors of our hips, our legs. All right, I'm gonna use the weight, same weight that I just had, okay? Windmill, so right arm, arm, right arm up with that weight, left arm out to the side. 
It's important here we don't, as we're bending, our, bending out the hip, we don't want the knees to simultaneously bend as well, okay? Those are staying fairly solid. As we bend, it's there, pushing our butt backwards, okay? Ready? And go. All right, six each side. Try to keep those hips as centered and square as possible. Okay, we're going six and then we're gonna switch, okay? All right, this one meant to be a little bit of movement patterning, right? Getting a little bit of our deadlift positioning, right? All right, push those hips backwards. Look straight up to the sky at that weight when it's up in the air. Open up those hips. Or, <clears throat> sorry, shoulders, not hips. All right, that's six. And we're laying down. Okay. Engage that core. Pull that belly button down to our spine. Okay, right arm, left leg, back up. Right, six each side. Good. Okay, one round done. Two more to go. Okay, let's get that weight back up in our hands. We're gonna go with our side lunges here. Okay, 12 total. Oh. Good, nice big step. Don't need to go super deep if you don't have to. If you're only getting to here, that's fine. Okay, nice big step. So, okay, stretch out. Those muscles in our hips, our doctors. Good. Right on. All right, let's do our windmill. Start with that right hand again. Six there, and we're going to switch. Whew. Couple more. Okay, patterning is the most important thing here. You don't need to make it super difficult where you can't lift that weight up. <clears throat> okay, we want it to be a little difficult. 
but we also want you to focus on being able to bend at the hip correctly, keeping those knees and lower leg in a nice position. Okay, let's lay on our back. Okay, dead bug. Okay, core engaged, nice and tight this whole time. Go 12, six each arm, right? And corresponding leg. Awesome. Two times three. <laughs> two times through, not two times three. Thinking about helping my eight year old with math. All right. Okay, that's two times through here. We have one more time. Then we're going to go on to part B, the last part for today. Okay, let's grab our weight. <clears throat> Okay, side lunges, 12 times, all right? Nice and tall. Good. Weight back, tall chest. Bend down as far as you can. All right, again, if it's not very deep, that's okay. Good. All right, we're done with that one. Let's get that weight up to our shoulder. Right side to start. Or if you started left all the other times, start with that left. And go. again. Last time. Okay, 12 each arm and corresponding leg, or sorry, six each side. Ready, go. Right on. All right, grab some water. Whew. Right on. All right. So like I said, part B, very similar to Wednesday for those of you who work here. We have four minutes of straight exercise, all on the arms with one last exercise being some cardio core. <clears throat> okay, so I want to start kind of low to medium, maybe low, and then we can increase if you need as we go. Let's see how much time we got. Okay, we're gonna go through twice. So very first exercise, hammer curls. So normally if you're gonna do a bicep curl, we would do it this way. Okay, palms facing the sky, called supination, right? supinated hand, this time we're going neutral, okay? So just like you're drinking water or 
whatever you drink on the weekend as it's coming up. Okay, we're going this way, but we're going one at a time. Okay, we got one minute here. Try not to rock that body to get that up, okay? Nice and stable with our feet. Hips nice and stable, elbows into our side. Just doing curls that way, okay? Next one, tricep kickback. You're gonna bend down at our hip. Kick back this way, okay? 30 seconds here, okay? Half curls, 30 seconds. Now, both your hands here. One, two, three. That stays, Oop. one, two, three. Just alternating three reps, but keeping the off arm at that same height the entire time, okay? 30 seconds there. Next one, extension. Those both are gonna be up above our head. Okay, nice side view, hopefully. Okay, here, push, push, push. Okay, 30 seconds. And then as soon as we're done that, we get down into mountain climbers. Okay, 30 seconds down there. We get a little bit of rest and we're going one more time. I will start my clock. All right, so first one. Okay, we're going in five seconds, alternating hammer curl. Ready and Go. Good. Might not seem much off the start, okay? But by the third or fourth exercise, we're still doing the same muscle groups, okay? So a couple minutes, three, four minutes in, it's gonna get tired, okay? I can feel it already. And then we need to do it one more time. Okay, 30 seconds. We're doing this one for a minute. I might have to drop down here. 10 might be too much. Okay, we have 10 seconds left. Five. And up. Okay, bend out our hip, tricep kick back, elbows into our side, up and back. Okay. That's it. We'll turn sideways so you can see a little bit about what it might look like. Okay. Upper arm stays very solid, tucked into our side. Two. One. And stand. Okay. Half curls. Have them standing here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, always keep those weights up. Good. Almost there. Okay, up above our head. Okay, upper arm as high as possible. Okay, it is not moving much. That's it, 10 seconds. Almost there. Okay, down. 30 seconds of mountain climbers, all right? Plank, run. There we go. After this, we get a break. Ten seconds. Almost two, one, break. Good. Give me one minute. I'm going one more time through, and we're done for today. Adjust your weights as you need here. Okay, if it was too easy, got something just a little bit heavier. If it was too difficult, 
maybe go down a little bit. If it was just right, stay there. And then if you need to go down later, you can. All right, let's grab our weights. We got 15 seconds before we go. 10. Okay, hammer curl, All right, neutral grip. Two, one, and go. All right, try not to swing, stay nice and stable. Just move those arms. Lower arm, right? Upper arm, stable, tucked into our side. Elbow is touching our side. Stay in there the whole time. Good. 30 in, 30 left. Whew. Squeeze that bicep at the top. 15 seconds. Good, five. And then kickbacks. All right, slight bend in that knee, bend at the hip. Elbows tucked into our side, stay in there. Push those weights up back behind us. Five. And up. Okay, holding them here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, three each side. Holding them up at 90 degrees the whole time. Good. Almost there, five. All right, up above our head. 30 seconds here. Almost done for the day. Fifteen in, fifteen left. All right, down. Mountain climbers, last thirty seconds of work today. Let's go. Keep those feet moving. Hands right below our shoulders. I know we're getting sore. Last 15. Five. Two, one, and down. Right on. All right. We're gonna sit nice and tall on our mat. <clears throat> okay, right hand across our body. Pull up with our left arm. Right on. All right, shake it out. Switch, left arm across, right arm pulling in. Um, stretch them out, hug yourself, all right, right arm up above our head, push back with that left, a little more uncomfortable that way, I'm going to sit on my feet. Pushing. All right. Shake it out. Left arm up. Good 
job. All right, onto all fours. Two last stretches here. Stretch out the insides of our legs. Okay, all fours. Right foot out, elbows down onto the mat. Sit back into our left foot. Okay, feel the stretch right in here. Okay, toe forward, point it. Point those toes toward your head. All right, flex that foot. Push those hips back if you need to feel it a little more. Okay, bring that foot in. Let's go left foot out. Same thing, flex that foot. Get on, stay here. So our last one for today. All right, back up. And that's it. All right, hope you guys have a good weekend. Um, we'll see you next week. Remember, no classes Monday. Nothing's going to get posted because of the holiday. All right, enjoy your weekend.